are Larry's facilitated words his own. This educational video is intended to draw attention to the problem of facilitator cueing in a technique called facilitated communication. The Claim The film's My Classic Life as an Artist, Portrait of Larry Bissonette, 2005, and Wretches and Jabberers, 2010, feature Vermont artist Larry Bissonette. Despite apparent difficulties with spoken language and other academic skills, Larry is able to independently create artwork with support from the Grace Art Workshop and his sister Sally Verway, with whom he lives in Vermont. The films also show snippets of Larry's day-to-day -day activities. You might as well bring the maple syrup back over to Larry in case we want a little bit more. Want a little bit more on yours? No, thank you. No? Thank you, Larry, for making me pancakes. What are you going to do today? Cereal. You're going to go to the studio? Larry is shown in both films being facilitated by Pascal Chang, one of Syracuse University's so-called master trainers. Chang works as a communication specialist at the Howard Center, a designated agency in Vermont. He has been instrumental in promoting FC in that state. The facilitator is shown most often holding Larry's shirt sleeve or lower arm to type out messages on a letterboard or keyboard. According to the Wretches and Jabberers website, Larry was introduced to facilitated communication in 1991. Without support from this facilitator, viewers are told, Larry lacks some motor control to independently type messages on a keyboard. The facilitator-generated narration in My Classic Life explains that Larry only uses FC to express his quote-unquote personally important ideas. This is the exact opposite of what the American Speech-Language Hearing Association recommends when it comes to FC. ASHA has opposed the use of FC since 1995, citing concerns over facilitator control, lack of scientific evidence, and prompt dependency. The organization renewed its opposition statement in 2018. But this has not stopped proponents like Chang from using the technique. To date, there are no nationwide standardized training or licensing protocols for the use of FC. The questions. Are Larry's gross and fine motor abilities preventing him from typing independently and without facilitator control? Is the facilitator, perhaps inadvertently, providing physical cues during the typing activity to aid in letter selection? Does Larry understand all the words typed during the facilitated sessions? Larry's motor abilities. As previously seen, Larry has the fine and gross motor abilities to successfully and independently complete day-to-day -day activities, like cooking breakfast and serving coffee to his sister. Larry is also shown in the two films independently performing the following activities. 
shaving, dressing himself, tying his shoes, using a phone, using utensils, cooking eggs, vacuuming, getting the mail, opening a pull tab can. At the studio, not only does Larry use a paintbrush and colored pencils independently without facilitator control, he also takes Polaroid pictures of the people around him and tapes the images onto his artwork. In addition, Larry uses a saw, drill, hammer, and nails to make frames to house his large paintings. Oh. Larry's always had an artistic talent. He can do anything with his hands. He loves to construct. If Larry didn't have access to painting or drawing in Brandon, he used to get up in the middle of the night, sneak into the kitchen, steal a butter knife, pick a lock, go into the sewing room, take all their brand new sheets in Brandon Training School and made curtains. He sewed them by hand. Then the curtains were so good that they actually put them up in the dorms. As Larry's sister says, he can do anything with his hands he loves to construct. Facilitator Support Proponents of FC claim facilitators provide physical support because their clients have quote-unquote motor planning problems. Physical support can come in the form of holding someone's wrist, elbow, shoulder, or other body part. Proponents also believe facilitators are not influencing the typed communications. They consider FC-generated messages quote-unquote independent even when the facilitator is touching the client. Question. If Larry has the motor skills to complete multiple tasks as intricate and exacting as selecting a letter on a keyboard, and the goal of FC is to quote-unquote work toward independent communication, then why is the facilitator still holding on to Larry's arm after 19 years of practice? A close-up look at facilitation. In the upcoming example, it appears that the facilitator is pinching and releasing Larry's shirt sleeve, and possibly the skin of Larry's arm as well. Are these movements influencing letter selection? If not, what other purpose would they serve? And here it appears the facilitator is grasping and pulling on Larry's shirt at the shoulder. Even though the facilitator's hand is slightly obscured from view in this next example, it is highly likely the facilitator is grasping and releasing Larry's shirt sleeve, as shown in previous examples. Note how the facilitator maintains constant eye contact with the keyboard, apparently to aid in letter selection. The questions. What would happen to Larry's ability to type out lengthy, sophisticated sentences if the keyboard was masked from the facilitator's view and the facilitator was not grasping and releasing his shirt? Also, is it possible that the facilitator's arm extends or constricts slightly to signal where Larry's finger should be positioned over the keyboard?
Does Larry understand every word that is typed? The facilitated messages attributed to Larry are often sophisticated and idiosyncratic. Proponents use these unusual sentence structures to prove FC messages are the words of their clients. But in this clip from Wretches and Jabbers, a question arises as to Larry's literacy skills. It appears Larry could only read seven words out of the 27 he and his facilitator typed out. People move me away with ice and cold. People should move me away from psychologically negative space to jovial state of mind with using humor motivation to stay calm and loosening my tension with ice cold Budweiser. Would you like to read? Uh, people, sir, should move me way away from psychologically negative space to jovial state of mind with using humor, motivation to stay calm, and loosening my tension. With ice cold. Yeah. What's your favorite beer? Favorite beer. <laughs> Budweiser. 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 Yeah. Recap and question. It appears Larry has the fine and gross motor abilities to interact with the keyboard independently and without facilitator influence. He also appears to have some limited and independent spoken and written language abilities. Viewers are told in My Classic Life that Larry uses FC to express personally important ideas. However, given that Larry's facilitator has been holding onto his arm to type since 1991, that's nearly two decades at the time Wretches and Jabbers was released, it appears Larry is dependent on his facilitator to do so. In addition, it appears the facilitator provides physical cues during the typing sessions that likely influence letter selection. This raises the question. Are Larry's FC-generated words his own or those of the facilitator? The Science To date, there's no scientifically rigorous evidence to prove facilitated communication, spelling to communicate, rapid prompting method, or any of their variants produce independent communication. Controlled studies show that facilitators, not their clients, are producing the typed messages. Many organizations oppose the use of facilitator-reliant techniques. These include, but are not limited to, the American Speech-Language Hearing Association, American Association on Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities, American Psychological Association, Association for Behavior Analysis, Association for Science and Autism Treatment. FC is not science. For more information, please check out our website at facilitatedcommunication.org.